Hello and welcome to MGP 443. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, the Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. I've just been testing during the intro to see if my microphone is working in stereo or not. I don't know if I've got it set up to do that, but I'm moving my mouth from one side of the microphone to the other as I'm talking in the hope that anyone listening <laughs> on just one headphone is getting very, very confused by what's going on right now. Plus, it's an excellent ab workout. If you're uh, listening in the car, Kev's just jumping around the back seats of your car at the moment, <laughs> just leaping from one side to the other. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I've got it set to record in mono anyway. And if not, if Pab's mixing this thing down in stereo when he's done, the man's a lunatic. What are you mixing it in stereo for, Pab? What kind of moron would do that? Uh, we back in the old days when 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 Uncle Kev used to do the editing, it always was mixed to mono. Which was the one that Sheepdog did, and only you came through one ear. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that why was it, it was yeah. that's why it was always mixed to mono, because the one time Sheepdog did it and mixed it stereo, he balls did up. <laughs> <laughs> well you didn't tell me, did you? You didn't uh, advise. Why has this suddenly came up? It's been like eight years since that yeah. happened. And it's come up in my diary to mock you about it. Fair enough. I'll I have to it. do it. I have to do it once every three years. Bring it up, mock you a little bit, and then move on. <laughs> Interesting. What it really is is I'm getting all these old memories of the past of the podcast flooding back because I'm so excited because we're so close to EGX. We haven't been for two years, and two weeks today, as I am speaking, two weeks today, we will be there down in London. At the XL, Eurogamer Expo, which hasn't been called for about eight years. EGX, for the first time... It's the first time in forever, like they say in the film. Two years! This is the return of normality. This is the return of everything that is good in the world. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Convention season is back. We're off to EGX. I'm not going to celebrate until I'm all on the way down, if I'm honest. I'm already on the way. I'm basically halfway there now. <laughs> I just feel like until I know I'm COVID free and all of that. I can tell you now um, I'm COVID free. I'm just not going to take a test for the next year just to make sure. You can't there's, um, there's not a chance I'm missing out. Was it the 8th to the 10th? Yeah. Something like that. Right. I got to go to a christening on the 3rd. So if they No one in the serious. history of the world huh. has ever had to go to a christening. I'm going to a christening well, on the 3rd as well. To. Ah, is it D down here, Pab? No. <laughs> No. Okay. It's uh, my wife's work friends. They don't even work together anymore. I don't know why I have to. Why go. are you going to your wife's work friends' child's christening? Because really I have weird. never. I I have never in my adult life been to a christening. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to go to like my niece's one, and like I already told them no when they asked me to be the godfather. I was just like no. <laughs> Um, no, thank you. Um, which put them out a bit. So, see, I as much, as, as, much as my brother's a wang, um, he has followed my tradition that I've set. And so far, this generation of Chapman kids, no christenings at all. And there's four of them now. So unless he suddenly decides to to mess things up for me and go down the christening route, I'm completely clear of christenings because I'll just say, well, I didn't even go to my niece's christening. I'm not going to go to your kids, am I? And that would just be my stock answer to everybody. They, didn't, they don't need to know. I didn't even go to my own children's christening. They See, no, no sheepdogs are going to heaven. I mean, that sounds like a film title, doesn't it? All good dogs go to heaven. No sheepdogs go to heaven. Um, I'm the only one, I think, out of my lot who's christened. And I'm the least religious one. So <laughs> I'm the least likely to get through the gates. But no, um, apparently I was at their wedding. So somehow that means I have to go to their daughter's Chris. I think it said daughter. I don't even know. Wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, if ever there I mean, was a time for you to pretend you've got COVID to make sure you don't get COVID for EGX, it feels like this is that time. Just two days before, oh, I've been pinged. What am I to do? It is two days before now. Um, no, well, it's not. It's a week before, pinged. sorry. <laughs> well, this is perfect. Next you, can, you can serve your 10-day sentence and be free for EGX. Perfect. <sighs> See. Come here. Let me cough on you. Come here. Lean I'm into, more worried because 
I'm looking forward to EGX, but the weekend after, I'm going to see my mates. Uh, we're going to Cornwall together. and I'm As like... opposed to the weekend with us. He's going to go and see his mates the next weekend. <laughs> You're my colleagues. I'm spending my weekend with my colleagues. And then, uh, no, I'm joking. Um, my other mates, I meant. You know what I meant. Uh, I'm not going to wow. say. If I say my mates. Wow. The amount of, if, if le- I... <laughs> the amount of lectures <laughs> joke, you've given Anna about A-tier and B-tier friends. Telling her she's wow. not allowed, yeah. to, inserting yourself as an A tier friend, saying she's not allowed to have anyone above a B tier friend, and here you are. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to get sick hanging out with us and not be able to hang out with your real friends. You scumbag. Put, put you are that, scum. <laughs> putting that in context for the listener, my sister and Anna are talking and becoming friends, and I just made it clear that my sister's not allowed to be a better friend. I, I presumptuously putting yourself as A tier. You well, absolute I mean, monster. <laughs> I was quoting Anna essentially, but in a different. I was I was paraphrasing something Anna had said. So there, but um, no, I, I didn't mean it. I just if I'd have said, "Oh, I'm going to see my mates," and you, you said, "You said I'm going to see my real friends, my only friends." <laughs> If I said I'm going down there, hang out with my mates, and you thought I meant you, that would have been a bit weird because I'm spending two weekends with you this month, uh, October, and only oh, one with God, them. Really? Two. Yeah, I've not seen them in two years. I saw you a couple of weeks back when I was signing your will. Yeah, <laughs> you seemed very happy that day. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> just something you you yeah i was thinking about a, you, a you spent time. a lot you spent a lot of time writing on it for a man who really had to sign his name as well i don't know what you were up to <laughs> couple of edits yep yeah, you know it is um i was adding in best friend to all of the bits <laughs> not just guarantor and whatnot i was like bestie bff interesting but why um you, no why yeah are we, why are we writing about pab in my will you scumbag <laughs> i was saying that he'd get demoted that's exactly it. Um, but no, yeah, my my other friends, should I say this? Should I call them my other friends? Um, mm. I'm going to meet up with them and just get heavily drunk for a couple of days, um, which I'm looking forward to. So I, I'm, I'm nervous in general because that's been called off by Boris Johnson every time we've tried to do it for the past two years. Because he is in like your extended friendship group. He is, and he keeps just cancelling on us. So I am worried that... If I get through the christening unscathed, I'll go to EGX. But if I go, if I don't get, if I get scathed at EGX, then that's the well, next one done. Answer me this, sheep fellow: Have yes. you ever gone to EGX and not come back sick? No, exactly. <laughs> but I'll be able to wear a mask around it. So, as someone said to me in the, um, I was I was streaming before the podcast, and they said to me, "Why don't you take some gloves with you?" And I thought I could just buy a pack of rubber gloves and just bin them after every game. I might wear yeah. boxing gloves. Yeah. Oh, I'm not no, planning thought... on. I am not planning on touching any controllers while we're down there because well, EG, I... those of you who've never been to conventions before, particularly EGX, it is just a filthy cesspool of disgusting. The controllers are just filth by eleven o'clock on the Thursday, and you're not getting down there until the Saturday afternoon. The mm-hmm. controllers are going to be. They are going to be so. You won't know what color they were originally, and they're just going to be. <laughs> and that's why people always get sick at EGX. Yeah, so I just thought rubber gloves would be the answer, surely. I mean, just maybe put... they'll do, because we've been to a lot of theme parks this year, and the rides get sprayed down between each person. Maybe, actually, this will lead to EGX having some hygiene standards, and they'll they'll squirt all the stuff down. That would be pretty cool. And clean it between use. There'll still be people handing out pre-poured drinks, and you'll be thinking, hang on a minute. I bet there won't. <laughs> I bet there won't. I, I bet there'll not. be none of that. I bet it'll actually be the cleanest most most hygienic one we've ever been to there might even be like the the other attendees might be wearing deodorant and stuff as a special treat for us (laughs) that'd be nice i um no but i think it's not too weird to bring gloves is it i feel like that'd be a good way for me to protect myself (laughs) i'd wear a mask i mean every year i i've had i had a, a a face mask on my amazon list of i have like an ideas list of things i might buy it if they and uh, i'm sort of trying to decide if i want them and after an egx four or five years back i got this like basically like a bane mask you know if i wore it i'd look like bane from batman um but i considered getting it to wear at conventions because i couldn't get to one without coming back with a horrendous cold so yeah now we get to wear normal face masks and maybe i'll bring some gloves i reckon it'll probably be the first time i don't come back you do raise Ill, the point but... that maybe we need to get some gaming themed masks. Is it too late to get some MGP masks made up for the weekend? I feel like we probably should. I feel Custom like it's probably too late. Masks. Have a look. Yeah, I'll look into that while you lot talk about video games. 
Um, because all I've done this week is played FIFA 22. And guess what? Here's my here's my 12 <laughs> second review of FIFA 22. It's a lot like FIFA 21. The goalkeepers are better though, and it's a girl on the title screen rather than a boy. Ooh. I've played it. <laughs> Pab sold. I've played He's it. In. <laughs> I've played it. And what did you think of it? There's, I don't. I've never noticed this before. What, what has there ever been like a force of rewind thing in this game before now? Um, there's is that there, no, is there one? I've not yeah, noticed that. I mean, I've I fast forwarded over the entire introduction, no, so I've all I've done is played Ultimate Team. I play, I just play just you know, exhibition matches. And if you hold like left, both left and right bumper and press the back button or the start button, whatever it is, you can rewind it. Interesting. So if, I was like, it's an interesting idea, but I feel like it's kind of pointless. It's like you just you, well, you miss that shot. Okay, rewind it. We'll we'll have another go at it. Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming that's only in exhibition matches. I presume so. That's kind of all I play. Competitive so. play that would no, be yeah. odd. Hmm. Yeah, but that's all I play. So I, I just yeah, it's just struck me. As need to get you on ultimate team, Pabby. It's the I, way I, forward. I can't be bothered. It's too much hard work. Oh, it's it's so much fun. I it, have spent, it is a little bit. I've spent I a lot a bit, of time but... and a lot of money playing Ultimate Team this yeah, week. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about £300 deep already. Oh. Having a lovely old time. Jeez. How many hundreds? About 300 probably. Jesus, you've got a... You have got a disease. It's not even out yet. No, that's... I mean, that, that seems reasonable. <laughs> seems like a very reasonable amount of money to have spent. I certainly, in my circle of FIFA playing associates, I'm nowhere near the most spendy. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite conservative with it. I need to stop hanging out with YouTubers. They're all wangs. <laughs> Are you a... Uh, uh, I don't, I, I'm not even going to get into it. Um, <laughs> is it worth it? I suppose you enjoy it, don't you? Yeah, I love it. Ultimate Team is... Just being able to play Ultimate Team is one of my favourite things of the gaming calendar. I love it. It's like it combines fantasy football with FIFA, with sticker collecting, and it's just fun. I'll sit there on my phone for hours. No, I mean, the game with the 10-hour trial that's been on EA Play, I'm I'm only four hours deep in actual gameplay on the PlayStation, but I've probably done 10 hours on the app, both online or on my phone, just opening packs, doing transfers, generating cash for my club i've got such a good oh, i've got such a good team already i've sat there this evening adding um lukaku and pogba to it in my i mean and like pab says this game's not even out yet um but i've got i've got a uh, team of the week ivan tony up front with lukaku i've got pogba i've got rashford i've got who else have i got i've got i've got everyone you know, I'm very close to having a perfect Premier League team already and the game's not even out. I just need to get Kante, Van Dijk, Varane and I think I'm probably there. That's my Premier League perfection. Doesn't get any better team done. Plus Ivan Tony because he's Ivan Tony and he's got to be in there somewhere. But yeah, I'm, I love it. Ultimate Team's great. It, it's it's absolutely no different to what it's been in previous year. The only thing that's different, if you want to get really into the weeds, is the... Uh, the qualification system for the weekend league is slightly tweaked and there's discussion about whether it's better or worse for and bear in mind i've not played in it yet i've just seen the change in the rules it's nah it, that's anyone who's never played fifa and who's on the fence about getting involved really isn't going to care about that the key for fence sitters uh, is goalkeepers are better than they've been in years so it's actually much harder to score goals now which as a newbie to it would probably be pretty frustrating i'm finding it pretty frustrating um, and it's available on EA Play for the 10-hour trial without you having to buy the game. So whether you've got um, a PlayStation and you've got EA Play, or if you've got EA Play Pro on PC, it, the full game is unlocked straight away. It's one of the EA Play EA Play Pro games, so it's included in your subscription there. Um, or if you've got Xbox Game Pass, EA Play is included with it, and you can get your 10-hour trial on there. So anyone who's got Game Pass can have their 10-hour trial and have a go for themselves. And if you get to the end of the 10 hours and you're still enjoying yourself, then drop some money on it. But I think it's great. Excellent. I, if it's identical, though, it's weird that people are going so nuts about it, isn't it? They always do, I suppose. Exactly. Right. 
I am working on this <laughs> mask. I'm mask. I'm been, mask making at the moment. I've been sat here um, reading about XL rubber gloves, and if your hand can fit a credit card in it diagonally, then you order an XL and all of this nonsense. <laughs> Holding cards on my hand, trying to measure whether I'm large or extra large. Um, and I ordered them, and I realised they were absolutely getting panned on Amazon. So now I've got to start all over again. <sighs> but uh, I might as well review a game while I'm here. Um, I finally got a game that I'm pretty sure Pab told me to play like uh, okay. three, four years ago. Um, so obviously I'm really into F- FTL and mm. I couldn't complete it, blah, blah, blah. So I bought Into the Breach uh, early, well, earlier in the week because um, I just suddenly thought of it. I was just like, hang on. Everyone kept telling me to play that when it came out. <laughs> it was like it just popped into my head after, I think it was 2018 it came out. Um, so I got that. And like FTO, it had a ridiculous learning curve. Um, you're basically every level, it, instead of it being a ship flying through space, you're just kind of picking areas on a, on, a, on, a, on a map. And it creates a little square level for you to play in. These bug monsters come up through the floor. You have to decide how to attack them. And you've just got three different vehicles that attack different ways. Um, I am terrible at it, like I was FTL. I, I kind of got better. Um, it doesn't seem as long as FTL, I would say, because I did the... You do two islands, and it says you can have a go at the, the end boss if you want, or you can keep playing. And they say the boss scales with your ability. So if you do it now, it's no harder than if you wait. And I just kind of found that really odd. Like, why let me complete it after two? Um, I made the mistake of at that point, not going for the boss and going for the next island because I thought, well, I might want to unlock more stuff or just learn more about it. And I died immediately. And like FTL, you have to start again. Uh, they had a bit of plot to it this time. Instead of starting again in FTL just because you lost, this time it's like different timelines that fall and you get to send one character through to the next timeline. So one of my guys had like lived through, I don't know, 12 different timelines today and then he died. So... He wasn't able to be sent to anymore. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just interesting. I tried to stream it earlier and I must admit that half an hour in, I was like, this isn't really a streamable game. Like it just, I felt like everyone watching was kind of just like, I don't really get it. I mean, everyone was fine. We were just chatting. The, the point of the stream was to, to chat, but I just felt a little bit off. Like I thought if I'm playing Minecraft, it's easy for everyone to understand what I'm doing, what's going on. I I feel like I need to concentrate on this to be able to be good at it. And I I kept thinking, right, I'll click that. And then I was chatting away at a chat and then suddenly it would get, tell me I got game over. And I'm like, I have no idea what I did wrong. I've got no mm-hmm. idea how that happened. So in the end, I just turned it off and put Minecraft on. But <clears throat> I've been playing it, as I say, throughout the week. And it is it is great. I really enjoy it. Um, I'll try and complete it. I don't know that I'll get as hooked on it as I did with um, FTL, but... It seems good. I wondered. I wondered a bit why this is the second game, and it looks older than FTL. FTL looks more polished than this. And if you'd have asked me to put them in order, I mean, a I probably wouldn't have guessed. Maybe, maybe from the title screen, I'd have guessed they were the same company. But I wouldn't have guessed that this was their second. Well, not second. There were many games, but the the one after FTL. I would have thought this was an earlier game. It just doesn't seem as polished, and it seems a lot shorter. As I say, I, I assume beating this final boss means I'd beat the final boss. And unless it's got some sort of, uh, oh, this wasn't the final boss, keep going thing. Um, yeah, it just seems it seems like it could be potentially a short game. But then I guess FTL, when played by hardcore people, is all about trying to complete it with every different ship and every different method and every different way and all these different and getting achievements. Whereas for little old me, it was just trying to complete the damn thing once. So maybe there's like replayability to this where you, you can unlock different robots and different moves and this, that, and the other. But I, c- I can't really see the point in that unless the story changes, you know? Like if it's offering me a better story, then great. But if it's just about trying to creep up the scoreboard and do a harder version, that's not really my my shtick. So yeah, I, it, I think I got it on Epic for like a tenner. Um, I have 20 odd quid. I don't know if I ever mentioned on the podcast, but like years ago I bought the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The oh, bloody hell, I've, I've just had a blank. You know, the, the Unreal, Unreal Engine. I, yeah, I bought access to that to make, back when I was trying to make a game all those years ago. Um, and then they made it free. And because I had it already, anyone who got it, anyone who paid for it got given credit. 
And mine's just been in my account for bloody ages because I didn't have a PC I could play it on. So I just spent half of it on this. I, spent, I think I had about 25, 30 quid in there. I spent 10 of it on this. But if any of you ever paid for Unreal and have never checked, you might have money in your account that you didn't know was there, which I've been waiting and waiting to figure out. So anytime I think I'd buy something with it, it's always been free on bloody Xbox. So uh, I've not spent it, but I finally found something worthy. And uh, yeah, it's all right. I'd recommend trying it. If you liked FTL, I was going to say you'd like this, but it's not the same. <laughs> if, if you don't mind the game resetting every time you die, then this is worth a shot. But I, I just, I felt like it wasn't appropriate for a stream in the end. Um, I just stopped because I just, I don't know. So maybe it was me being uncertain. It just didn't feel right. So I went on to Minecraft, which I played lots as well this week. Um, just building Mizzou further, Kev. Uh, I built a little aquarium area today in on stream. Uh, what else did I do? I tidied my inventory. Can you believe it, Kevin? I actually All have a tidy summer, inventory. I've had to put up with you not being able to find anything. And the moment I stop yeah. playing, you tidy up. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, I do need to rearrange my boxes a bit. Like you have yours sideways with a picture on the side. I've just got mine front ways with the picture on the right side of the box and it doesn't look right. I need to redo it. But I've color coordinated some shulkers, put them in my Enderman box or whatever it's called. And I just pop that down, get out my adventure box or my breeding box or my magic box. And yeah, it terrifies me that you've got a breeding box. What the hell is in your breeding box? All the things you need to feed animals to make them breed. Oh, so like horses. If, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm flying around and I see a couple of donkeys, I'm feeding them golden carrots to make them make a baby donkey. Um, if I see Why an do you want to just randomly have them make a baby donkey? I don't understand. Because uh, I'm like nine breeds away from completing that achievement. Yes, So I just figured... I'm not a weirdo. I just thought it was another achievement to sign off on the game, innit? But, uh, yeah, um, there's certain ones I know I can't do like that. Get every, I mean, I, I looked it up and it just seems impossible. Get every ailment in the game at the same time. So you got to be like hero of the village. Be, there's got to be a YouTube guide for some, how someone's done that before. When I was looking at YouTube, all I was finding was people showing their reaction to doing it and screaming their heads off, which suggested they spent a lot of time on it. No, I don't think anyone's been doing that just, you know, casually. I think you've, uh, yeah, to get that to that point, they've, they've dedicated some solid hours and, you know, it's brought them to tears for doing it. So it ain't going to be me, is it? Let's face it. <laughs> but yeah. Into the breach. That's what I've been playing. Uh, hopefully Pat won't edit it out this week. Uh, well, to... after his last week's nonsense who knows what he'll do um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to finish myself off before we go any further uh, go on, him. you heard um, because the other thing of course that I've been playing is football manager uh, as you all know I like a bit of football manager but it is important that I announce that the streamer showdown is back boys and girls it's back this weekend tonight as you're listening to this twitch.tv slash lelujo 7 o'clock both nights as I try to become Kevy seven times. <laughs> That's what's going to be happening this weekend. So I've drafted a beautiful team. Anna even drafted one of my picks for me because she insisted I draft Jack Grealish. Yeah. Because basically, I don't know if she wants to be his mum or his husband. <laughs> I like his hair. Way. <laughs> I see. Um, but she does talk about Jack Grealish a lot. So he's in. And um, hopefully he's not rubbish. And we can go and win the whole thing again. Because, you know, I love to win the whole thing. It's one of my favourites. But that's it. That, that's all I wanted to say. Go and, go and talk about something else. In fact, in fact, mm -hmm. before you do that, it feels like we could probably have an early advert. Squeeze in an early one, Pabby. We'll have an advert now. Right, now you lot can talk amongst yourselves while I continue practising for the showdown. So what you're doing today? Yeah. What, right now? I was yeah. You out yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't need to practice. I I argued that you uh, you were a master tactician because you got it right first time. Yeah, do you know how I get it right first time? <laughs> yes. I spend I spend twenty or thirty hours before the showdown working with my squad, working out exactly how to use them all. It's ridiculous. Apparently, according to your lot, a master tactician just changes tactics a thousand times during a game and. When I said maybe they should just believe in their tactic and get it right in the beginning, I got I got sarcastic 
slatings from the likes of <laughs> is it Curti? Never he was like, oh, I'll tell the I'll tell the uh, fellas to believe in their their uh, tactics more. That'll do it. Well done, Sheepdog. Like, thanks very much. Yeah, Curti FM. You need to Never believe more. I'll pass it on. I'm like, that's not quite what I said, but uh, <laughs> people are funny, aren't they? They were like trying to say that your rival is it Clates? He's not even your rival, is he? He's won it Never twice. Heard of him. He? What's a Clates? Um, twice I, as I don't know. All I know is he's won it far fewer times than I have. I yeah, don't know less than half. How many. It just makes yeah. me laugh because they were saying you're the you're the good at draft. Said you're the draft picker and he's the tactician. And I was like, hang on, hang on. Like <laughs> Kev doesn't change his tactic because he gets it right at the beginning. Like he'll tweak it. You know, obviously if you're losing in a game and you need to do something, you will change to your other tactics that you've already prepared. But a lot of these guys are just like, hang on, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to just blindly move things around and hope stuff happens. And they do it. And I mean, it is. I've, I have seen some insane scores in that. Uh, sh- showdown where someone's been six nil down and they've got to six six because they've just churned their way out of it by tinkering. But if that's what you're coming down to, your tactic wasn't very good in the first place, was it? Do you know what I mean? It's what you got to remember is a lot of people don't enjoy football manager for the same reason I enjoy it. I love squad building and just winning football matches quickly. I'm not particularly interested in the tactics. I've always been about finding one that works and generally sticking with it. Some people justify their football manager intelligence based on how much they can tinker. And I don't know, they think that you've got to tinker, 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 tinker. I don't subscribe to that rule of thought. I like to just win. But some of them do love to tinker. Bunch of weirdos. Oh, and so far, touch wood, you've won. Exactly. Well, I because I'm the greatest and will continue to be. <laughs> so uh, yes, Anna. Tomorrow Powerful, night, you children. Played. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow tonight and tomorrow night because this is Saturday. I forget. You two talk about your things. Things. Um. Things. What have I put? Hold on. Let me press this button so I press can it. find out what I have played. So I forget. Been one of them weeks. Um. So. Let's put that over there. I have played. I purchased Kenna this week, Bridge of Spirits. And it is a beautiful game. It's so pretty. And everyone should play this. It's basically Pixar, but a game. And it, it it's just so beautiful. So you play as this girl who has power, who is a spirit. I don't know what she is. She's, she deals Spirit with spirits level. that need to yeah. pass over to the other side and some spirits stay and they are the rot that you collect and then you help them in a way. I'm not quite sure what her backstory is, but you go around and you have to... Basically, there's like an area, you ha- there's a big... like It's all mouldy and red and disgusting and you have to cleanse the area by shooting a big like big energy thing and you pop it and everything goes green and beautiful um you pop it by sending the little cute they're called rots but they're black little cute looking animals and you send them like so they're, they're like special power things and you send them onto the big like bulbous thing they spin at it and then like you hit it and it bursts and make everything green um, it doesn't do anything new. It is basically just a cute game of this platforming, clambering, puzzles, just finding stuff, going here, there and everywhere. But it's just, it's so beautiful. Came out this week. It's not a very long game. I've heard it's about eight hours. Really? But yeah, apparently it's not very oh. long. I'm more intrigued um, though, because it's... <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's a weekend game. So okay. it was like £39, I think, on PlayStation 5. But again, with plays, if you download on the PS5, you also get the PS4 version. So you can play either or. Um, but yeah, it's an action adventure featuring a unique companion mechanic, combat and exploration. And it's so pretty. Like, it's just 
like I was watching the video and I was like, right, let's get into the gameplay. And I was just stood there and I was like, oh, I'm in game. Oh, and it just, it's like, think of Pixar, like think Elsa, think, I don't know, Finding Nemo, think. Um, Elsa's not Pixar. She not? Who mm, am I thinking? No. The, um, oh, what's the one with the inside the brain? Inside oh, out. No. No, you say Moana. Have you seen that, <laughs> that yet, you, you scumbag? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's Toy not Story. All... Toy Story, Inside Out, all them kind of things. This is that, and it's it's just it's so beautiful. I'm so... What's this called? Sorry again. Kino, the Bridge of Spirits, I think. It only came out this week. It came out Tuesday. Yeah, Kenna. So K K E N A, and then Bridge of Spirits, and it's just. It's just pretty and lovely, and it, it, it when you've got all these games that are shooty blood and stuff, you've got this, and it's just like oh, nice and like the some of the if you do play it, do like I play it. I've played it on the easiest level because I went to the middle level and was getting my butt handed to me because the some of the camera is off sometimes and it doesn't it, like you want it to quickly turn around and there isn't one that does that. I had to put the sensitivity all the way up because it just wasn't spinning as fast as I wanted it to be. But apart from that, it's just oh it's just nice and lovely and I hope they make another one. And the music's nice and it's just got everything you want in the game. Um so I played that. everything. Everything Can I just say I... before you move on, I accidentally hit my keyboard a bit too hard when I retyped Kino instead of Chino or whatever you'd originally said, and it came up on my thing as registers. So those audio files that are listening who heard that bang, I'm really sorry, and I know that you'll all be <laughs> tweeting me going, Ooh, keyboard, but I, I, I hammered the backspace and then saw it go, bleep. I thought I'd better comment on it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. But carry on. I try not to touch my keyboard anymore. Um, <laughs> and then the other day, I don't know why, but I um, okay. There we go. I've no idea why. I just I just looked at it and thought I haven't played you in a while. Let's play you. So I put in Nino Kuni two. I don't know oh, yeah. why. I just did, and yeah, I don't know what's going on or what I'm doing. But because I last time I played this was like I don't know 2019. I think the file that was still on there. So all my like all my files from PlayStation Four have just like gone. From PlayStation 4 onto the PlayStation 5 cloud, and that's where all, all my old, old saves are. Um, so I've just been running around there. It's just, again, it's just a cutesy little game. You build a kingdom. I still don't quite understand most of the mechanics of that game, but I just felt like playing it. You know, you just want to play something different. Mm -hmm. And I just I just felt like putting it in, but this is so different from the first one. Well not so different, but like when you go to like the main map, you are just like you know, like a, a Funko Pop, that's what you look like walking around the world. So like think Final Fantasy when you could see yourself on a like a as a massive person on a map and you would just walk around killing things. But now you have like this I don't even know what you call it. So you've you it's like a battle. You have platoons, like I have four at the moment. You got archers, like swordsmen, and two. I don't know what the other two are, but they basically you walk around and you have to fight these this other army. It's very bizarre. I don't know how I win them, but I've won, and I go yes, but I have no idea what I'm doing in that. So I played that for a bit, but it, basically you're a cat. Well, you've got a cat features, and you are supposed to be a king, but you're you're taking over your dad who died, but he only died because he was poisoned, and then you go and take the throne, and then a rat slash mouse basically has... Is it a coup where they... um 
backstab you and chuck you out so they can take over the kingdom. So the cat kingdom is now run by the mouse people and you've been chucked out. So now you have your own kingdom called Evermore. And basically, it's like it's a, a little bit childish for me because like all they want to do is, oh, our banner should be, we should end the war. War should be for nobody. Let's all live in peace. And I'm like, yeah, but people, not everyone wants to live all nicely and lovely. But you do you. I'll leave you to it. Anna for Prime Minister there. <laughs> Anna's speech. <laughs> not everyone wants peace. <laughs> Let's crack on. <laughs> Who's next? Um, for about an hour, as, as well this week, I played uh, the pre-sequel. Borderlands again. I don't know what. what? I just, I know, I know, I know, and I don't know why. I just felt like I just wanted to play as as uh, as Clapchat because he's the f- like in that whole game in the pre sequel. Playing as Clapchat is the funniest, best bit of the game because you don't know what his you don't know what his power will be when you press that button. So, like, you could be, it could be the rubber duck one, where you just bounce really high and just, that's all you do. That's, so you're getting out of, like, the the shooting, but you bounce really high. And the fact that he doesn't need the O2 masks, because obviously he's a robot. Yes, you can use the O2 masks for their abilities, but you don't need one. So you're not constantly thinking, I need oxygen, I need oxygen. Because that just stresses me out. I hate that. Um, like, also his power, you can be a, a gunzerker. So you've got, like, two guns just shooting constantly. But in, but that's just one power of somebody else's. That's all they do. They have a gunzerker in, in Borderlands. See, this one, it can be that. Another one, he shoots out loads of other club traps, like little ones, and they're just attacking with their, like, poison or their fire. It's just, it's a bit of madness to the the game and the fact that when you choose because like you you choose your character at the start and it goes oh you picked claptrap are you sure you want to do that i'm going yeah and like yeah but you picked claptrap you know that annoying little yellow thing are you sure and you're like yeah and it's like are you actually sure (laughs) and then it lets you start the game but yeah i don't know i just felt like playing the pre-sequel even though it's the worst one of the Four, yeah, the four of them. So I've done, and then I've just been. Oh, I also bought today, literally like two hours ago. Um, Diablo two. Um, played uh-huh. it for an hour. I don't really like it, but I've bought it now. Um, when you die, like I don't know if I've picked a um pick the wrong setting but when something kills you you leave everything you leave everything behind nothing comes with you so when you go back into the world you've got you've got no armor you've got no weapon you need to go to a corpse room yeah but in 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 three diablo three that didn't happen i don't think like i always had a weapon maybe it's just did you had to do well, a, have... a corpse room where you were a ghost and you had to run back to where you were and you collect, you came back. Maybe. But anyway, it, right. it, it, it's annoying because like, you have to go back out, you have to go on... F- Obviously, your corpse is in the middle of 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 a, a mob, so you're trying to get your stuff, but a mob's coming at you and you've only got like your power. It just, it, it's not great. Um, but I've played it for like an hour... I'm sure I'll play some more of it. It's just, it's not Diablo 3. Diablo 3 just had, there was something about Diablo 3, whereas this is, like, I don't even know how old, like 10, 15 years old maybe, but I had a, I, I bought more. it and I've had more. So, but the thing is, like, you know how, because it's Blizzard, they, their, like, intro movie is spectacular. Like, Mm-hmm. It is mm-hmm. film quality. Like I'm not even joking. I was watching. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is beautiful!" Mm-hmm. And then you get into the game, and now you can play it um, classic mode from back in the day. I've not got that mode. I'm playing it in the new, yeah. refreshed mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there's still things like this chests around this shrines around that can give you certain things like experience or more mana there's dungeons that you go into there's houses there's grossly massively big monsters that just come at you and then there's like the ones that are doing my head in, at the moment are um for what they're called they resuscitate the ones that you've just killed they do my head in oh my god i have to like run around find him kill him so i can kill the rest of them because he's just keep bringing back to life but it it's fine it's diablo i'll play a bit more of it um in the week coming then you can get back to you and then just more persona um i've got 26 hours into it now i'm now on my hold on one two, third palace um i've never got further than this before i've i always stopped at the second one um so i haven't played it as much this week just because i had graduation and there's things to do and people were around so i haven't played that much of it but i do love it um and then on stream i played obviously uh kenna and uh, life is strange i'm already on episode three of life is strange and it seems to be going really quickly now i don't know whether this was because back in the day you would have to wait months for the next uh episode to come out but i am going through this really quickly i don't i don't know why um but i'll i'll go back to that when i've finished uh keen i just want to get that out of the way because it's pretty um i thought that's that's about it really but persona is just i can't put it down it's so addictive like because you like it just gives you like a morsel you're like i'll just play for like another 10 minutes and then something will happen, you're like, I'll just see where this goes. And then you last like all day. It's ridiculous. But I, I, yeah, if you've not played it, people should play it. At least give it a try. So I hated it. I, I Not hated, but I just, I was like, mm, no thanks, a bunch of school kids. But now I'm all in there and I'm all into the ins and outs of friendships and if I give that person some time, they'll give me some more, like, extraordinary medicine. Now I can go to into, like, the tube station and go and kill monsters and find stuff. And then there's, like, these massive things that I have to do. And it's, it's good. I like it. And there's, like, this little boy that sh I don't even know who he is or where he comes from, but he gives me presents. If I collect flowers for him, you see what I mean? Like, I have to collect flowers for a little boy, so he gives me presents. What? Like, I, don't, I don't even know. Um, but, yeah, I've not played Deathloop this week. I've just not had the time, or I just can't bother at the moment. Because I like it, but I just don't want to put my time into it at the moment. And then I've got, like, Far Cry in two weeks and i'm just like it'll be there it's not going anywhere but that that's that's me i'm done on to path well i'll tell you what i have put some time into death loop uh-huh i'm just, i like it more than i did last time okay. and i still wish i liked it more than what i do i <laughs> It's, I've got to the point now where I where I keep I keep multiple weapons I keep the powers. Mm. Um, I got to a point where I was doing levels just for just for info, and right there's no there was no real like the lead was to do something. There was a lead to to just just to get to find out what its power station was. I found out, and then the exit's there, and every single level. Up until this point, I've been I've been do the objective that I need to do and get out. Mm -hmm. And this time, I just went, okay, it's going to wander around what this level is and see what is actually there. There's so much to these levels that I didn't know about that I oh, thought okay. they, were, they were. I thought they were relatively small. They are huge. These uh, levels are massive. Because like you look in the distance and there's like you can see buildings. I'm like, can you get there? But then there's no way to get there but i guess you get to them when you've got the certain powers like well, the dash one and stuff well it, i don't know if it's like the the, ma the maps themselves seem relatively small but the verticality in them like i'm going into right. like underground bunkers and different all sorts of different things and 
Yeah, I, I completely cleared out an entire like area. I, I just, know. I just, I was just like, let's go see where this takes me. And then it was like, okay, there's a, there's a group of guys here. Let's get rid of them. You clear them out, and then you find some more intel, and then there's more, there's more stuff, and then, then like your leads board that you have, like where it has all like, like eight, the eight people you're trying to kill, and all the leads off of them, and it's only that starts filling out. And it's like, right, okay. okay, these people are at this time. Um, I did, I did like a, a level where one of the visionaries were in their like hideout thing that they have, and it's all, like, it's all, it's all about like some sort of like, what is it? It's like, it's like some sort of sci-fi role-playing game. In this, okay. it's, like, it's like a fun house. You just got these like robot, robot sentry kind of like guards that are trying to like. Yeah, just trying to be like, he's just trying to play a role, and he's right. playing a role in it as well. And you're just running around. You're like going around this world. It's like is he oh, LARPing? Like... Is that what he's doing? Live action role play. Sort of, but it's 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 much more sci-fi. But it's like it's still like paper cut, like cardboard cutouts of things, right. and all <laughs> everything's all like like wooden sets sort of thing, and like ro- robot animatronics and stuff like that, and. But there are real people in there as well, uh, all playing roles as well, and you just you kill them all. And then I think I cheesed the the guy, or I killed him. I think because he was just I alerted I alerted him to me, mm. and then his he had like a he has like a warp, like a bit like Juliana's like phase shift kind of thing, where he can just like warp across the thing. He has he has something similar to that. Right. Okay. So he, he was just he was just kind of ping ponging around the place. And I was like, oh god, now I'm going to. Have to chase him around oh like, i had him yeah oh he was it, annoying it was in just the like, snow i was like no no he was in it he was in whatever his building was oh okay and, and it was just ping-ponging around and every time he just put he, every now and again he just popped in front of me so i just just give him a whack with a gun <laughs> and then they just did it eventually he just died and i was like okay i'll just take that from him and i keep it now i, I infused it enough to be able to keep it and yeah, I went round the map and just literally infused, literally just sucked up every single bit of power I could out of everything in on the map. Because mm. I was like, I just, I just need, I need all my abilities, all my powers, all my perks, all of my upgrades that you, that you can't, you, you don't keep on the next run. And from what I can tell, I'm not hundred percent certain. I think I keep them permanently. I don't lose them on the run oh, after. Oh, that's have to... good to know because that I was think getting that's annoying. The case. Because I feel like I'm at the end of my second day sort of thing with them, so I've right, kept okay. them. I've kept them all into the second day sort of thing, and I, there's there's no sign because like each all your weapons and your abilities have like that symbol on them saying mm-hmm. like these are going to be gone if you unless you infuse them. So, right, okay, I, that th- makes non, sense. None, 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 none of my weapons are now are now have that symbol on, which shows that they're going to stay with me. Um. Yeah, I'm re- I really like it, and I what like the, the reason I want to like it more is that I don't hundred percent follow what's going on, <laughs> and I just kind of find myself just going into onto a little map and just blitzing everything on the map until I get to my objective and just going, okay, let, 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 let's just clear clean it out then clean it out let's get as much info as we can, mm. and then. Like I say, occasionally there'll just be something else that'll come out of it, and then I can move. I can move on to, but like, it's 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 a it's a a really fascinating game where it's like, okay, I cannot, I cannot use this information I've just got yet because I can't do anything until night time. So I've got to move the time by to get to night time. So there's no point in me just skipping tonight because it's a waste of a day. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Anything, anything I've not saved is going. So it's like, well, I might as well go and do something else. Mm-hmm. And you find yourself like, you find yourself like just putting pins in things, just like, okay, I'll come back to this when it's night time. I need to do this. <laughs> yeah. And while while it's noon, I will go over to here. And I'll just have a wander about over here and see what I can find over here. There's something over here for me. So, so I'm just kind of like a bit of like. Initially, I was just literally following leads and just following it and just getting in, getting out doing what i needed to do and now i'm just kind of mm. like a bit of ping-ponging around a bitch because i'm trying to i don't want to waste my time i don't want to burn my 
my abilities and my Day, weapons and what yeah. have you, and burning the day out and having to start again. But yeah, I I do like it. I do you like it a lot. It yeah, tomorrow. I will. I will. I'll keep playing it. I'll keep chipping away at it. But I find myself like playing for it. Like I could feel like I could play maybe like one level at a time. I could do like one like phase Power shift. Time. What yeah. I could do like one one part of the day, and then I go, okay, yeah, put it down. I've done I've done what I need to do, and actually I did about two or three on the bounce last weekend, and I was like, whoa, 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 I went, I did way too much now. I'm not mm. going to remember what I've done now. But yeah, I do like it. Oh. I do like that one. The only other thing I've played, um, other than FIFA as well, uh, was... Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is a game that I got on Game Pass... And it's potential. I'm doing it again. It's potentially a game of the year for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a game called The Artful Escape. Um, it is by. Uh, it's Annapurna again. Another Annapurna game that is phenomenal. It is a. What is it? Two D. Uh, side scrolling. <sighs> Essentially, I don't want to say walking simulator because that. It's not, it, it, there's some minor platforming in it, but it's nothing, there's not really anything difficult about it. Um, but you are a a young lad in a, in a, in a small, like, solitary town, um, and you are a singer. And This sounds like my youth so far. Yeah, Continue. you are. Did, did you live in the shadow of your your uncle, who was a famous famous folk Don't music talk about guy? His uncle. Yeah, Sheepdog will tell you all about my uncle because I used to speak of him. That was the extent of it. Don't ask about his uncle. Okay, well, anyway, you play as um, Francis Vendetti, who is a like I say. I saw you playing this. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I popped into your stream um, for a little okay. bit, and then good left. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, I, I watched a little bit, but I okay. didn't want to be like playing it. So I assumed everyone else has, and you don't need to explain it to anyone. So <laughs> no, 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 didn't cut you off. I'm not interrupting. I'm just saying I saw his stream. It looked very cool, but then I suddenly thought, well, I didn't acknowledge to Pab that I was in his stream, and I was going to say because I didn't want to walk in and be like, "Hey, Pab, it's Sheepdog," <laughs> and interrupt because you were in the middle of like a it, it, that you were deciding what to say, and it seemed quite climactic. So I just thought, oh, I will sit here quietly and watch. That's what I was trying to say. Good, good. So you are you play some young young lad who, who is basically living in the shadow of, of his uncle and everybody in the town is expecting you there's like a big concert for the big like kind of reunion not a reunion, like a like a concert to remember him because he's died. He's no longer around and everybody reveres his uncle and everyone's expecting him to kind of fill his shoes and wants him to be wants him to be the next big like the next big thing, and he he doesn't really want it, but he feels the pressure of like I've got to I've got to do it now, um, until the point where he 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 can play guitar really really well and play it like it's it it's like was it like I don't know what it's like. Not, not like it's like metal, but not, not. It's like I don't know what it is. It's, 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 it's not folk music anyway. What it is, it's not folk music. And then he gets kind of picked up um, on an alien ship, and then he becomes like that. He goes on a journey to to find himself on this like kind of like space adventure kind of thing, and it's all like. Like I say, two D, uh, side scrolling, like walking simulator. So you just walk around talking to talking to aliens, talking to people, talking to stuff, making decisions. There's like choices on on some conversations, and you are also playing guitar and music with like a rhythm based kind of game in in it as well. But the story is so so good. And the gate, it's just such a fun, like, psychedelic, crazy, crazy game. With, like, 
I'm getting... I get... Someone said it in chat when I was playing it, and I agree with it. You get Hitchhiker's Guide vibes from it. And... Like, a little bit of, like, the... Not Rick and Morty, the the sentiment of Rick and Morty, but, like, the... The... The world sort of thing of, like, the... The... The aliens and the, the, the it's just it's just a bonkers world where you are trying to find yourself and try and step out from that shadow and it is phenomenal it's, it's, it takes what well it, it says it takes about four and a half hours to beat so it's not it's not long it's on game pass that's the first thing i think it's on game pass for xbox what's the name PC. again the artful escape i think you'd cool do yourself well to, to give it a try and like I say give it give it 20 minutes half an hour and I think you probably know what whether you like it or not because you, you'll get out of the because the opening is just like you're saying you're pretty much just living in this little town playing folk music but you'll get out of there and you, you start moving and you can't, you're like okay I can't you, you'll get what the gist is but it's so 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 good yeah, I find myself like I find a game good when I when I catch myself just smiling at a game and just just enjoy you know find myself physically grinning at a game that's making me smile and like enjoy it that much to a bit to the set of like this is just insane. Um, but yeah, it is. It is probably in the top three for this year, and it's, it's feel I feel it's just. Like crazy right now, but my top three games are not, they're all indie games, pretty much. You're such a hipster these days. You are, uh, you'll not be. Been, there's not been tons of around things, the rest but, area, will you? I mean, it depends what's there, but who knows? Um, the, you can find Pab the left field stage or whatever it's called, the left the field, left field area. collection, I think. Usually yeah. Is. They don't have posters, they have a white wall that you can write the name of your game on. Ab loves all that. Makes okay. it feel home, doesn't it, Pab? Sure, if you say so. <laughs> well, no, yeah. If it, give it a go. It is, like I say, it's Game Pass, and it's, like I say, it's well worth, like, the four hours it takes to finish that game is something else. And it's also, it's got multiple, multiple different celebrities in it. It's just like, Lena Am I Head in is it? in it. Sorry, you. Am I in it? Yeah. No. Well, you play, you <laughs> Who did you say was in character. it while Kevin interrupted you? Lena Head. Multiple is. celebrities. You've talked over the celebrity name twice I'm doing for it me. Deliberately, I don't want to acknowledge her. <laughs> it. We'll never know, no, will we? I know. I heard him. <laughs> yeah, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just going to say it while he was quiet, and you did know. I won't be quiet. As soon as I see his lips move, I'm on again. You have to, you have to, you have to go and play it now to see the see the up. <laughs> Even though I asked you the name of it, I can't remember. The Artful Escape. The Artful Escape. The Artful Escape. The Artful Escape. I've said it three times. Hopefully, I remember it now. FIFA 22. FIFA 22. FIFA 22. Get that yeah, one shut up. there. <laughs> I've had two g- two double gins, so I can't remember what I'm talking about. Just remember FIFA. You'll be fine. Right. Is that us done, boys and girls? I think so. I believe so. I think it is. Hurrah! Well, then we'll wrap things up. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Um, you can follow me at Lelujo. You can follow me at Sheepdog6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pab1986. Check out the streamer showdown over the course of the weekend on my Twitch channel, which is the it same is as all fun. that. This lot have all got Twitch as well as part of the MGP Twitch team. Find any of us, you'll find the rest of us. We're a Twitch team now. <laughs> We are. That's, that's why Sheepdog doesn't class us as friends. He's got his Twitch team and he's got his <laughs> <Yeah>. friends. <laughs> Your They're colleagues. two very distinct groups. Yeah, exactly. My esteemed colleagues, the people that I, uh, yeah, cherish. And if you are going to be at EGX in a couple of weeks' time, um, tweet at RB6K and let him know all about it. And then he can make a list of who's likely to bring us gifts, buy us meals, that kind of thing. So For we some reason, sure we're in the right place at the right time. I thought you were going to say, if you are at EGX in a few weeks' time, don't look directly at us. Don't engage us, please. <laughs> we're just people. <laughs> no, but do. Come say hello. It's been a long time. It's a sheepdog. <laughs> yeah. See just you next week, boys meal. and girls. Have a good week.
Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs>